Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. It's your girl, Evolving Goddess. I'm here to do a video for my Aries people, okay? Um, this video is going to be dated from the 25th of January through the 31st of January of 2019. Okay, the intention is set that you'll be able to walk away with something resonating with you in this, in this reading. However, if it doesn't resonate, y'all, please do not force it. Only take what applies, okay? In addition, if you're wanting a personal reading, you can go ahead and reach out to me uh, via email or via text. Okay, I'll leave that information on my bio. Y'all, please don't call me, okay? Um, y'all know I always say I talk back, which I do talk back, y'all, so y'all can talk to me anytime. And of course, if it's ever an emergency, you know, y'all can reach out to me. But for bookings and things like that, please text me or email me, y'all. And um, what else? Uh, oh, okay, come follow your girl on Instagram and Facebook. So Evolving Goddess 444, y'all. Please, please, please follow your girl. Support your girl. I appreciate it all so much, okay? So I did a pre-shuffle, and look what's at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, but we'll go ahead and shuffle again because I know y'all like to see that. I see the comments on other people's videos all the time. Y'all be going in. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead. This is for our Aries, okay, from January 25th through January 31st, Spirit. What do they need to hear? What messages do they need to hear? What empowerment do they need to feel right now? All right. Let the deck and get started. All right. All right, said Aries, January 25th, January 31st, 2019. All right, y'all. All right, so... <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles, okay? Um, and underneath that, we have the Nine of Cups. So, Page of Pentacles kind of talks about, like, something brand new, you know, not having all the answers, right? It's a brand new start to something. Um, and normally, pages are, or pentacles are um, earthly possessions, right? Could be an opera, could be a new brand new venture, could be a new relationship. Um, we have the Lover's card, the Magician, you guys, this is bomb already, and the Three of Hearts, okay, but I'm already feeling like, especially with the Eight of, uh, the Eight of, um, Swords kind of, that came out in the pre-shuffle, and the Eight of, or the Nine of Cups kind of underneath at the bottom, bottom, I think that this is maybe you guys coming out of this heartbreak, right, and starting something new. Because even in the heartbreak card, like, there's yellow around it. So, yellow around it, to me, yellow is like healing. It's like a brand new start. You know, yellow is the sun bringing new beginnings, growing things, um, birthing things. So, and this, the clouds are above the heart. So, um, maybe some kind of recent heartbreak. But I do feel that you guys are coming out of that, right, for some kind of new start, some kind of new beginning. Um, it's brand new, but it is something that brings you your happiness it brings you harmony um so this with the lover's card it could be that maybe there's a decision that needs to be made and a decision that is being made from the heart okay following your heart so some kind of new passion to start it is something that you are manifesting okay you've been manifesting this change and it's coming in um it has room for growth right it doesn't have as solid as a foundation as you know the king of pentacles but it will get there with a lot of hard work um definitely a positive and a high vibration so let's go ahead and get clarifiers on these i mean definitely something that i feel like it's something that you're manifesting some kind of change where you're wanting harmony like you're manifesting something that's going to bring you happiness to your heart but we'll, we'll check it out uh, please clarify the lover's card sir all right the strength card one more. The strength card always talks about, you know, um, internal strength. You know, she's taming the line, a lion. Not a lot of people can do that, right? You have to have a whole nother level of power to be able to do that. So it's not about the physical, but it's about the internal, right? Um, I always like to just picture as mountains. So mountains take a lot of endurance. So Right, so some kind of maybe some kind of conflict right some kind of conflict either other people because um, in this picture like there are five 
five people fighting none of the wands are none of the wands are touching so this is a matter of unnecessary conflict five always talks about changes okay and it's always a matter of a change in perspective all right um so having the strength to be able to overcome the difficulties and being able to shift your perspective okay making a decision from your heart because that's always the best decision to make in life right you'll go far like that um and manifesting so let's take a look and see what it is that we're manifesting why is the magician card here please spirit the hierophant so maybe manifesting a commitment right with the lover's card and the page of pentacles that talks about you know the the hierophant is always um either it can talk about commitment it also talks about spirituality though um so kind of knowing that you don't ever have to do it alone right so you do have the strength inside of you um but you know you always have spirit to help you out and sometimes when you are doing trying to go at it so hard yourself maybe that's kind of where you maybe get conflicted and think like is this something that i want to do i mean this is really taking a, a big toll on me is it is it the right decision for me especially with the page talks about it being something brand new the page doesn't have all the answer he doesn't have all the experience so this is a time especially when you want to be able to call on spirit yeah right because spirit got your back y'all they gonna help you get to that ace of pentacles okay um so let's clarify the three of swords please spirit the three of wands and i'm gonna take the card underneath it because i picked them up both together um <clears throat> three of wands and the ten of yeah that king of pentacles right so with spirit he gonna turn you or spirit gonna turn you from a page to a king yeah okay um so it's just a matter of definitely um changing your perspective right and continue to keep planning i know that you are maybe feeling like you're not going to get there and that could be the reason why the heart is the three of swords so that always talks about either disappointment or sadness um but i am feeling like you are going to be able to overcome that but it's really going to take a lot of internal strength okay and to continue to follow your heart and change your perspective okay laying down the burden so get rid of get, getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you getting rid of anything that's unnecessary for you to carry right now because you're already in the venture where you're starting something you know and that takes a lot of effort in itself it takes a lot of strength and it definitely takes a lot of strength when you're making decisions from your heart because a lot of times when you're making decisions from your heart a lot of people a lot of other people don't understand right sometimes you're just following your heart you're following your intuition other people always have something to say about it you know and that takes a lot of strength to be able to overcome that so whatever it is that you're manifesting don't keep going and don't give up <clears throat> things may be not as they seem right now oh i'm sorry y'all know that was loud my bad things may be not as they seem right now but know that you can call on spirit to help you okay because that new that new opportunity um business career um home could be a relationship but just what however it applies to you take it that way but whatever it is spirit is trying to help it come to y'all okay i um, know that you don't have to do it on your own lay down the burden continue to move forward continue to persevere continue with your plans and move past the um the disappointment and the heartache all right yeah it's really important to shift the perspective especially when things if they are not going as planned it's really really hard to kind of start every day fresh right start over tomorrow all right so can i have one card please for aquarius or i'm sorry aries 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 january 25th through january 31st please January 25th to January 31st. Trying to keep this under 10 minutes for y'all. All right. So mending. And then at the bottom of the deck, it was to be fair, also in reverse. But we'll go ahead and read the mending card. Which is the 
this is number 52. Okay. Um, so heartbreak is a strained pillar of souls. Our grief strips away our mask and loosens our tight hold on our separateness, um, where we view ourselves as I and the world as it. Loss, uh, loss allows us to see ourselves as part of a larger scheme, opening up to us, opening us up to sympathy, empathy, empathy. Sorry, y'all, empathy and dependence on others in the moment when we can't hold ourselves together, and it leads us to become one with the greater whole again. Pain and suffering is a part of life, and none of us will be immune to it. Can you view this loss, this pain, this uh, as a way back to source? Let your sorrow break your heart wide open. You will never be left behind. You are loved now more than ever by spirit, who does not want you to feel alone. One day you will look back and know that this is true. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, spirit has y'all's entire back, okay? So yeah, know that you don't have to um, do it alone. Um, some of the strongest people have the strongest stories, y'all. So if that's you, continue to fight and know that spirit has your back. All you have to do is call on them when you need that help, okay? So keep following your heart. Whatever you have, whatever you're touching right now is coming into gold, all right? So, yeah, y'all, that's what I have. So once again, like and subscribe to my channel. Follow your girl, Instagram, Facebook. And um, thank y'all for rocking with me through the mistakes. I appreciate y'all. love y'all. And as always, talk to me. Y'all know I talk back. All right, peace.